Hi everybody, my name's Melanie Newman and welcome to our grooming channel. This is Devanna, the amazing miniature poodle. And in today's grooming session, I'm going to put her in a teddy bear trim. The equipment we are going to use in today's grooming session is, I have my Oster 3000 eye clipper. These are great, these are a cordless clipper and I'm going to trim the bulk of her body, so the majority of her body with these clippers. I also have our Wild Creativa clipper. Um, I'm going to be trimming her private parts with these clippers. These are a five in one and we've used these before in a few other videos. I'm also going to use the Sheer Magic little trimmers. These are perfect for in front of her little eyes. I also have a slicker brush and I have a metal comb. This comb is great, it has a wider tooth and a finer tooth as well, just to help comb out any knots and tangles on her. This is a fine tooth comb, so I'm going to be using this comb when I'm brushing back up her legs, just to make sure I've got every single hair ready to scissor off or to trim off during our video. On Devanna's body, I'm going to use the Sheer Magic 5.8's wide tooth snap-on comb and this has a 30 blade underneath. So I'm going to use this on her body and on her legs, I'm going to use a longer snap-on in the Oster snap-on range. So they're all color coordinated to the different lengths that I would like. And I'm probably looking at about an inch I'm going to leave on her legs. So her legs have that nice full column shape compared to her body because I don't want her body being bigger than her legs and I don't want her legs looking like little matchsticks on a bigger rounder body. I want her legs to be nice and balanced. I am grooming on a grooming table today, so not on a bench. And I also have a grooming arm and a noose attached to that grooming arm. I probably won't groom her the entire time with the noose around her neck because she's really well adjusted to be groomed on a grooming table and I know that she's not going to jump off but if you have a dog that's a little bit more wiggly this is definitely something that you need for your grooming table or even a table you have at home. Before we begin clipping I have bathed her so I've shampooed her twice and conditioned her once and fully dried her but I have to make sure all her knots are removed. So I'm just going to give her a light brush out with my slicker and then I'm going to cross check with my comb and if I hit any knots, then I'm going to go back through with my slicker. She is completely brushed out, so I'm hoping that she doesn't have any knots in her coat. I have already clipped her pads out, but I'm just going to clip her groin out and I've already clipped her little bottom. So I'm going to show you how to clip out a female groin area. I'm going to use the Wild Creativa clipper for her groin area and I'm using it on the longest length, which is about three millimeters. When we are clipping our dog's groin area, we don't want to lift up their leg higher than their hip bone. So I want to get down and underneath her so I can see. So as I'm pulling up her leg, just gently, I'm going to turn on my clipper and I'm going to come in and go with the direction of her hair growth. I'm going with the direction of the hair growth and just gently clipping out her private areas and then coming back up onto the other side. And one thing I want to be careful of, I don't want to clip outside the back of the back leg. We want to keep all this hair on the back of her back leg. When we're looking at her from her rear profile, we don't have a big clipper mark on the back of her back legs. We still have that hair 
still sitting there ready to be clipped because that's a part of her body. That's not a part of her groined area. And that's a hair that covers the back of the back leg. All her prep work has been done. So I've clipped out her pads, I've clipped her groined area, her little bottom, I've trimmed her nails. Um, she's completely brushed out, I hope. So the reason they need to be completely not free when we're trimming our dogs with snap-on combs is because they are actually a comb attachment on a blade. So if you look at our comb attachment, so this metal comb needs to glide through that coat and then the blade underneath needs to actually cut the hair as we're clipping. So if you do hit knots or matted parts on your dog, it will actually snag the coat and probably hurt the dog as well. I'm going to begin by clipping her body with the sheer magic 5 8 wide tooth snap-on comb on my Oster. 3000 eye clippers. So I'm going to begin by clipping her top line, so the top of her and her rib cage, as well as the front of her and the back of her back legs as well. As well as I'm going to clip her tail off on this length as well and her ears. I like um, Devanna to have shorter ears because she does get a lot of ear infections so then I like her ears to match her tail and I'm going with the direction of her coat. I'm following the direction of how the coat grows and I'm leaving hair from her hip down to her foot and roughly from her point of shoulder down to her foot as well and we will trim them later on. So making sure this is nice and smooth in these areas. And now we're coming down the front of her and I like to come down into a V and work my way down that chest. So from where her throat starts, around her jawline, and then just coming straight down. To clip behind her ear, I'm going to pull her ear forward, and I can hold her ear with her muzzle as well and then turn on my clippers and just come straight behind that ear. And clipping around about to the point of shoulder. As we clip the top of her neck, I'm going to clip from her occiput, so the back of her skull, and come straight down into her withers. down past her loin, past her little rear end and then straight off the back of her back leg and I'm kind of flicking that out just before her hock area. And the other side coming straight down the back of her back leg and just gently flicking straight off. As I clip her tail, I'm just coming straight off her top line and holding the tip of her tail and not pushing very hard at all so the clippers are barely touching her tail and I'm just skimming off the bulk of that hair and off the back and I'm always holding the tip of the tail. When I get to the tip of her tail, I'm actually going to scissor that. I'm not going to clip it because I don't want the tip getting caught in between these little teeth on the snap-on. 
so I'm being ever so careful with her tail. Now her other side, so pulling that ear back so it's out of the way and coming straight off into that shoulder. And down into her rib cage. underneath and making sure the clipper work is nice and even and nice and smooth so I can keep going over that area and I like to do short clipper marks so I don't like a long I just like short and I like to work that area to make sure I've removed all the hair and I don't have a lot of clipper marks so it's nice and smooth and the trim is nice and even as well. I do pull the skin nice and tight so I do get a nice smooth even finish when I'm clipping. As I'm clipping around her jawline I'm going to pull her ears up towards her muzzle and lift her head slightly and turn on my clippers and just make sure it's nice and even around that jaw, jaw line. To clip her underline, I'm going to pop her two front paws in my hand and hold her up and she's standing on her two back legs. And I'm going to just clip her underline like so and I can come a little bit up her rib cage as well and then I'm coming in reverse because I like a nice tidy underline and I feel like when she goes walking that she's not going to get a lot of dewy grass on her belly so she stays nice and dry when we're walking. So I like that extra short underneath her. For sure. If your dog doesn't like you picking him or her up by the front legs and trimming the underline that way, you can also hold their front leg outwards and just gently come underneath with your clippers. And holding that front leg still forward and just bringing your clippers around that rib cage making sure we get all those hairs. Before I change my snap-on length to a longer length to shape her legs, I'm going to take off the bulk on the side of her front legs. So I want her to look nice and parallel from the front. So I don't want her to look like she's elbowing out as she's coming towards me. And how we're going to achieve this is by getting our snap on and coming straight down and then just skimming off that hair. So we're taking the bulk of this. So she's going to have a nice straight front leg. And we're also going to do this with the rear end as well. So I'm holding her ear with her muzzle. So I've got her nice and secure. I'm just going to brush up this hair. And turn on my clipper and coming straight off that shoulder and just skimming straight down. So I'm not actually pressing hard as I'm coming into her elbow area, just coming straight off. So we get that nice straight leg. And just taking off the bulk of that leg. And the same with the other side. Turn on my clipper and just coming straight down. Just skimming off the top of that shoulder. And then we have our rear profile. So we are actually going to do the same. And we are going to skim off all this hair here with the clipper. So I'm just going to brush all the hair up that we want to clip off making sure there's no knots in there and then from our hip joint 
I'm just going to come straight off. Straight down, just skimming that leg nice and parallel. And where we've put the back of our belt leg, we are just going to tidy up that area. And our other side, so just lifting that hair up, making sure there's no knots in it. And get our clipper, and from our hip joint, just come straight down. So from our hip joint and then a little bit of pressure and then skim straight off. And then we'll just tidy up the area from where we clipped earlier and making sure all the clipper work is nice and smooth and nice and even. I have finished clipping her body as much as I need to now. We are now going to move on to her legs. I am going to use a 32 millimeter snap-on comb. So this is one of the Oster snap-ons and I am using a 30 blade underneath that snap-on. If I need to go back over her body with the wide tooth, I will after I've done her legs just to neaten it up or if I see any bits of hair that I've missed, I can go back over it. But for now, we're going to start her little legs. Starting with our back leg, and I'm just going to support her back leg by wrapping my hand around her knee joint and then just gently applying a little bit of pressure to the clipper as I'm clipping her legs. And then straight down in front of the back leg. And then on our top and coming around making sure we've got every little bit of hair. And then if we wanted to we can brush all this hair back up making sure we've got a nice clean finish as we're clipping her leg. While I've got her back leg in this position I'm just going to brush up the opposite hair on the other back leg and just brush it up and then turn my clippers on and just come straight down. And remember when we pick up our back legs that we're not picking them up over our dog's back. It's just in a nice gentle position where our dog feels nice and comfortable. Brush through our dog's other back leg before we trim it. And just ensuring that we've got all those knots and tangles out so nothing's going to snag and make her feel uncomfortable or hurt her. Turn our clicker on. And then straight down that back leg and I'm not putting a lot of pressure because it is a metal snap-on comb and I don't want her to feel uncomfortable as I'm clipping her. Making sure we've got all the little hairs on that back leg. And while we've got this leg we are now going to clip the other inside back leg. So brushing that all up, pop our clippers on and just gently run our clippers down that other leg on the inside of the back leg. Before we begin to clip our front legs, I'm just going to pull all the hair out with my comb, making sure I've got no knots in that coat and my comb runs through nice and freely because if my comb's running through, that means the snap-on is going to run through the coat freely and will not snag the coat. So I'm holding onto Devana's little paw and then gently coming down with my clipper and I'm not pushing hard. I'm just letting the comb glide through and clip that hair. As we clip the inside of the front leg, I'm just holding her foot outwards in front of her. So this is just her natural movement. And then just coming straight off on the inside of the front leg. So I'm not forcing the clipper through her coat or I'm not being too firm. 
where the snap-on's going to hurt her or give her a fight or anything like that. And her other front leg, so she's gliding that clipper down her front leg without force, so allowing that clipper to clip the coat. The clipper is doing all the work. And the inside of her front leg, just letting it glide through. And clipping the back of her front leg and making sure she feels nice and secure as I'm holding up one of her front legs. So she's not feeling off balance. I finished clipping her legs with the 32 millimeter. So now I'm just going to swap it back over to the wide tooth comb and just go back over her body and make sure I haven't missed anything. Any little tufts of hair, Mr. Vanna. I'm just making sure I've got those nice parallel lines as we're clipping her front legs. And I'm going to lift up her front leg and make sure I've got all the hair underneath her, so on her underline. And just making sure all my clipper work is nice and smooth. As I clip her flank area, I'm just going to pop my hand behind her flank and just gently skim over that and always going with the direction of her hair, of the way the hair grows. I have completed all her clipper work on her body. I might need to go over at the end, I'm not quite sure yet. But now I'm going to tidy up her legs by scissoring and I'm also going to scissor her nice cute little round paws. So the scissors I'm using today are, I have PNW scissors. So I'm using Two are from a, the Spartan collection. So I'm using a 16 tooth 7.5 blender and I'm also using the 7.5 straights. I also have a blacksmith curve and these are a 7.5 as well. I also have a Suze Echo Dreamcatcher. They're made by Kenchi. I'm going to start by trimming her feet. So I like to brush everything down and I've already clipped out her pad so it's really, really easy for me to come around with my scissors and trim the bottom of her feet. And using my curves, just coming around that foot. And I'm just scissoring it in a circle. And we are going to follow the same technique for every foot. So the other back one and the other two front ones. Combing the hair down using our curves. And I like to put my scissor on a 45 degree angle. And the back of the front foot and straight across. If you find your dog keeps lifting up his front legs, a good little tip is to pull up the opposite leg to the foot that you're trimming and comb that hair down and then trim that foot on the ground. I like to now tidy up our elbows and our nice straight parallel lines. So it's just tidying up our clipper work and just making sure everything is nice and smooth and we haven't missed any tufts of hair. So I'm going to begin by scissoring a nice straight parallel front. And I'm going to use my coat conditioning spray after I've combed so it's going to keep the hair in place as I scissor. So I'm using my blenders 
and just coming around the side of that leg. And then turning my scissor downwards and scissoring nice and straight. And then what I do to one side, I then do to the other side. I'm lifting up the front leg to trim the insides of the front leg. So pulling that hair out and I can see the line that I want to create and I'm going to head towards her prosternum. So not into her armpit, I'm coming towards the middle of her chest. I'm combing all this hair out and I'm going to spray. And scissor from her foot where we've scissored her foot up towards up you go good girl up towards the middle of her so towards her prosternum and then pop her leg on the ground and see how it looks and if I wanted to trim more off while her leg's straight, I can. I'd just do that by lifting up her other leg and just shaping that nice and round. I want to cross check all my work. So I'm going to brush it all up and just spray a small amount of coat conditioning spray and using my blacksmith curves just scissor off the tips making sure there's no tufts of hair left the back of her front leg coming in and remember we want a round column leg and the same width as we're scissoring and the clipper has decided the length so it's just a matter of tipping off anything that the clipper has missed we are going to continue the process with the other leg moving on to her back legs now and combing everything up and we want the same width throughout her back leg so the same width from the rear profile and then from the side profile so I've combed it all out give it a little spritz coming straight down with our scissors and we're just scissoring off anything the clippers have missed so we're not changing the length of the leg and our other side basically just tipping the leg and now we are going to scissor our side profile so scissoring all this hair so just going to brush it back up give it a little comb And just coming straight down we are just going to tidy up Devanna's flank area so I've combed out the hair and I'm just going to use the tips of the scissors to come around into our flank area and just scissor any little bits that the clippers may have missed now we are going to trim her tail so remembering earlier we didn't clip these little bits hanging down so we're going to scissor them off and i'm using my straights and i'm just scissoring while i'm holding the tip of her tail 
and then comb down the back of her tail and I'm still holding that tip and just trimming off anything the clippers have missed and just neatening up all the clipper work making it nice and smooth I prefer her tail to taper towards the tip so I'm just going to scissor that shape in and the other side we have completely finished her body so I don't need to go back over that the only thing we have left now is her sweet little head so remember earlier I mentioned that I prefer her ears clipped off so we are going to clip her ears off the same length as her body so I will go through with you guys how we're going to do that and then we are going to scissor her head into a sweet little cheddy head we are going to begin by clipping her ears the same length as her body and her tail so I'm going to pop my hand underneath her ear and we're going to clip outwards so if you just visualize that we have little arrows the arrows are pointing outwards on that ear leather so always going with the direction of the coat and out so from the middle outwards and when I flip that ear over the same technique applies so always outwards and her other ear so I'm popping her ear in the palm of my hand and clipping outwards out towards the ear leather and pulling the ear forward to clip behind her ear and flipping that ear over and flipping outwards I'm using our rocket trimmers to just clip out the hair in front of her her little eyes and I like to go in and just scoop that hair out. We've done one eye and now her other little eye and just scooping the hair in front of that eye. So it's not a lot of hair and in the middle of her two eyes as well. I'm going to begin by combing Devanna's fringe down and using my curve scissors I'm popping the scissors on a 45 degree angle
at a time with our scissors just until we're happy with the shape. Now I'm just going to take a little bit off the muzzle. Not a lot because I like her to have a full muzzle. Once I'm happy with the shape of her muzzle, now I'm just going to shape the top of her head. And I'm just going to start with my curves and just taking off small amounts at a time. And I'm just trying to create roundness on her head. Using my fine tooth comb, I constantly use it to pull all the little bits of hair out so I can create the shape that I want to create. And I'm just taking off and tipping small amounts of hair at a time so I'm not coming in and quickly creating a shape. I'm sculpting it with my scissors. And don't forget about the back of our dog's head and where we've clipped and just making sure we scissor all that in nice and neat. I would like to tidy up on top of her nose so I'm just going to comb this out with my fine tooth comb and then just tip the top of the nose with our scissors so just taking off the tips so we're not changing the shape or the length we're just taking off the tips so we get a nice smooth scissor finish. And gently just pull her head forward and brush out our jawline and just neatly scissor in our transitional line. So our transitional line is where we've clipped to. So we've clipped up to her jawline. So we're just scissoring in that line where it meets. And we are just going to tidy up underneath her mouth area. I like to just comb out her little whiskers and using the tips of my scissors, I like to just tidy them up so they don't get caught in her food. Here with how her head has come up, so I'm going to just trim the edges of her ears from where we've clipped. So I'm going to comb them down and just use the tips of our straight scissors and always holding the edge of the ear leather and just scissor off those tips and always scissoring towards the tip of the ear. And flip the ear over to do the other side. Good girl. And then scissoring towards the tip. And I prefer a round tip, so I'm just going to soften off those harsh lines. When I'm scissoring my teddy faces, I like them to be round from the front so even our muzzles nice and round or oval and then from the side as well so coming
I hope everybody has enjoyed Devanna's transformation in her teddy bear trim. If you guys have any questions, pop them in the comments below and Devanna and I will get back to you. And until next time, happy grooming and we will see you later.